As training areas go, it's pretty unique. The Army's bridging camp at Wyke Regis in Weymouth looks out over Chesil Beach, an 18-mile shingle spit stretching from West Bay to Portland. As the name suggests, this is where the Army sends its sappers to learn a core skill, how to build bridges. Here today are reservists from the Royal Monmouthshire Royal Engineers in Dorset on their annual training camp. After a week on the ranges, they've come to the bridging hard to hand build a medium girder bridge or MGB, a giant Meccano-like construction made up of these metal boxes, each one weighing just shy of 200 kilos. Tommy Richardson is an ex-regular. He served in the Royal Artillery. Now a reservist, he works as a private jet pilot in the Channel Islands. So in a battlefield scenario, you can see over here we have a gap which is simulating you know a break in the road um, you know there'll be a you know, probably a battle group behind us and if they need to bridge that gap we'll be there to bridge that gap to get the vehicles over to continue on to, to for the mission we, we, we lay everything out it's all palletized and then we basically have a, um, a commander for left and right and center of bridge and as we go along the um, we, we, we just we just crack it all together and hopefully do it as quickly as possible in the field but here on, 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 the, on the hard today we're trying to do it slow time safely as possible and get people through the courses with all passes. This unit is the only remaining militia in the British Army and recruits from across the Midlands, Channel Islands and South Wales. Lottie Phillips Davis was born and bred in Cardiff. In her day job she's a professional axe throwing coach teaching corporate groups and stag do's and when she's not doing that, she's also fairly handy at mixed martial arts. I've always loved being outdoors anyway, and I grew up doing the cadets as well when I was younger. And I never realised how much I actually loved it until I joined the reserves again. And they just harness that sort of enjoyment for the outdoors and staying active and pay you for it as well. So it's you've got to remind yourself that this is actually a job and you get paid for it. And are you one of these people that's doing this to see whether you perhaps fancy a career in the military full time? Or? It, it was to kind of test the water because I've always wanted, uh, always enjoyed the military and the way, you know, the way it's run. So I thought, why not join up, see if it's something I want to do full time. Um, and I'm almost certain I'm going to join up in July next year. Yeah. Building an MGB isn't something they do very often, and teaching the reservists is an Australian army engineer here on exchange. Along with this big bridge, some troops are also learning how to build a much smaller crossing, one used to traverse small rivers. And looking on, the regiment's deputy divisional commander, Brigadier David Harrington. Another reservist on this camp is 27-year-old Fergus Bailey, a contract manager with the MOD. For him, being a part-time soldier brings real benefits to his day job. The fact that I'm buying equipment for the army um, means it's really, really helpful to be a reservist because I get to get hands-on with the equipment. So even though I might not be a regular, I understand some of the challenges and things that they're looking for in good bits of equipment. Um, so although I'm not a project manager, I can prompt a project manager and think, is this really what the soldiers would like? Uh, what, would we, what would they really want? Slowly but surely the double storey bridge comes together, inching its way out across the gap. On operations this would be done of course at double speed, today it's slow, making sure everyone knows the exact choreography and providing these engineers with a vital skill, one of many aimed at helping the army to live, move and fight. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.